everybody, I'm back with another Friday video. I have another time-lapse illustration for you, but this time I wanted to talk a little bit about the illustration and the paints that I'm using because I'm excited to have discovered a process to make these paints work for what I want. Um, and I kind of wanted to share that with you. So first I'm going to talk about why I ended up wanting to use these paints and a little bit about the paints, and then I'm going to talk about this illustration and the process that I used and kind of the ups and downs that brought me there. So first off, the paints that I'm using for this illustration and which I also use for my saloon illustration are a liquid watercolor called Ecoline. And they are made by Royal, the Royal Talents Company, which apparently makes like every freaking art supply in the world, like your Micron pins and a bunch of different brands. Anyway, so they are advertised as a liquid watercolor, but they're actually a dye based ink, sort of. Traditional regular watercolors are pigment based and the eco lines are dye based, which lets them be super duper saturated and like they just really packed a whole lot of color in there. But the downside is that they are supposedly not light fast. So I'm probably going to end up doing a light fast test myself on mine. But they make such beautiful washes and strong colors, vivid colors. And like they retain their vividness like when they dry more than regular watercolors do. And they just really have this nice look that I'm super into. So... Uh, the, the pros kind of outweigh the cons for me. And you know I super love watercolor and I like the process and the watercolor look, but the process that I have, that I typically do with watercolor isn't really viable for my comic panels because I'm the kind of person who paints in layers and build up the shapes and everything, which is fun, but it's not it's not really feasible to paint every single comic panel like that. So I've been trying to find a balance between like doing line work and painting where I still get like the satisfaction out of painting, but also like the way that it looks. Okay, so basically my goal with using these paints is to get the watercolor effects, but more quickly and more saturated. However, before this illustration, I didn't really have a process that worked. In my previous time-lapse video of my saloon painting, I also used the Ecoline paints, but I treated them a bit more like regular Western watercolors. And while it worked, it didn't quite get the effect that I wanted, and I over ended up overpainting. Because these paints are so saturated, it's really easy to get too dark, and then you kind of lose the contrast, and then you end up going even darker, and it, it becomes kind of a mess. So I realized that I needed to paint less, and if I retain the watercolor looking effect, that creates enough interest that I don't necessarily need to do a lot of shading and I can do the details with pen work. So what I figured out after doing a whole bunch of experiments, that the best way to get like multiple colors and like sort of a semblance of shadows and interest is by doing a wet on wet. So what you'll see me do in this painting a bunch of times is fill in an area with water and then start brushing over with whatever color I'm going to use and then I can mix it together with my brush and that way when it dries it makes one smooth wash instead of getting the rippled edge or the hard edges or losing whatever edge you know but one of the issues that I've run into is how is how easy that they lift. It can be good in some instances because you can lighten up areas if you mess up um, and like rework the edges. But for a bunch of little things that are different colors that are close together, it can become a problem um, with the colors bleeding into each other. So basic summary of my process for this, I decided to do line work first with my dip pen which I normally don't do line work first but since I was trying to focus on the shapes and the design of this painting instead of finding the shapes as I go uh, I thought it would work well and, I've, and I realized that I liked the lighter color uh, lines to kind of match the tone of the painting and that if I wanted to darken it up later 
I could add more on top. So lighter color lines, then painting, and then more details. And mostly I like the way that that turned out, um, but I realized after I was painting that the reddish brown color of the ink looks kind of funky with the areas that are supposed to be cooler colors. So what I ended up doing was um, going back over with my purple micron and some of the areas that were darker or cooler, like on some of the leaves and her boots and pant legs and adding some like shadow areas with the lines. So that way it's not like harsh line art that kind of, kind of blends into the painting more. And I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. So another issue that I was having with the dip pen is I really like the way using the dip pens feels. It feels more natural drawing for me than with a micron because I can sort of sketch easier. Uh, it looks cleaner. But because this is cotton paper, I was kind of ripping up bits of fiber into my pin nib. And I don't know if it's because it's such a tiny pin nib or because the paper is so soft. Uh, because I don't remember it happening on the arches paper. But I'm also using a different pin nib than I normally do. I'm using a tiny one because my big pin nib, my big pin holder broke. And I don't have the ability to go get one right now. So I was using the smaller one. And that's why you saw me switch to a micron for a second at the beginning. Because I thought, I, well I have a micron that's a similar color. But it, I, it just wasn't looking the way that I wanted it to. So I did my best to use the pin nib, but with a lighter hand to try and not scratch so much off the paper. And it didn't really hurt the paper when I was painting that I noticed. It was just annoying having to like pick fibers out of my pin nib all the time. So, so I'm excited to experiment with this style a little bit more. The reason I did this illustration was because I wasn't happy with the comic panels that I've drawn so far and wanted to experiment with the process to see if I could get another process that would work with the comic panels. And I think that this will, if I can figure out the best paper to use with the pin nibs, I'll probably um, try doing it this way. So that's pretty much it about this illustration. Then it was really fun to do, even though I had the line art first, it was still fun to paint in because I was uh, manipulating the paints in an interesting way, I think. So thanks for watching this video so far. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. If you like this video, you can subscribe to me. Do the, the notification thingamajig if you want to. I am posting a video every single Friday right now. I'll be back next week. Thanks. Bye.